that's not, I can't stand seeing him with that little tramp. And now he's gonna marry her. <sighs> Patience, Gwen. We still have to play a race. I hope your plan works. Of course it will. When Ethan discovers that Teresa had a copy of Ivy's letter in her computer and that she knew all along that he wasn't a queen and didn't tell him he's gonna be devastated. And more importantly, I want him to hate her. Oh, he will. I mean, you said yourself that, that emailing Ivy's letter to the tabloid was brilliant. Yes, it was. I just hope it's enough to turn him against her. Just you wait. Teresa's wedding is just going to be an explosion of revelations. And when the dust settles, Teresa's life with Ethan will be destroyed forever. And your life with Ethan will be just beginning. I'm delighted that you and Teresa are getting married right away, but... Why the sudden decision? Well, it was the right time. We love each other. We want to be together forever. So why not? Why wait? Yeah, why wait? Why indeed? Well, I'm, I'm thrilled. Isn't it wonderful? Congratulations to, to you both. I wish you all the happiness in the world. Thank you, Gwen. Considering everything that's happened, it means a lot to me coming from you. Well, I've always said that your happiness is all that matters to me. Uh, yes, Ethan, if you're happy, well, well, then we just think it's wonderful. Gwen, I just thought of something. A way that we can make Teresa's wedding even more wonderful. Okay, what is it? Well, there's something I want you to do. Look at Teresa. She's so transparent. I bet I know exactly what she's thinking right now. I should thank Mrs. Crane for giving me this computer. Now I, I can scan the papers into the computer and I will have the proof. Why would Mrs. Crane keep it a secret that Ethan is Sam Bates? She should be scared to death. She's thinking about how she had Ivy's letter in her computer. Oh, now she looks relieved. I'm sure she's thinking, there's no way that letter came from her computer. Oh, no, she's thinking somebody else must have gotten it somewhere. The tabloid certainly didn't get it from her computer. Oh, now she's completely given up worrying. She's so sure she's in the clear. Hmm, she is very confident. That's why it's time for you to do what I told you. Now? Are you sure? Oh, oh, I'm very sure. It's the next logical part of our plan. I'd... I'd rather not talk about the tabloid story right now. We want to just think about happy times. We want you to share in our joy. And we want you to be involved in our wedding. And don't we, Ethan? Yes, of course. I, I would like to be involved in your wedding, too. You would? Mm-hmm. I, I want to show you that, that there are still no hard feelings and that I just want the best for both of you. Teresa. I want to be your maid of honor. Will you let me? want to be a maid of honor. Yes. I think it's the perfect way to show everybody that there are no hard feelings and that we can all be friends in spite of everything that's happened. Yeah, Gwen, thank you. But Whitney and I have always promised to be each other's maid of honor. And I have to keep that promise. I understand that. But perhaps I could be one of your bridesmaids. Well, Gwen, I really don't have any money. Oh, we can't afford a big wedding. Ethan, please let me help with the wedding. No, Mother, your money is crane money. I just don't feel right taking any more of it. Well, I have a wonderful idea. Why don't you let me give you your wedding? You, Mrs. Hotchkiss? Well, yeah, I have plenty of money, and it's, it's not crane money. So why not let me do it? I promise you, it would be a wedding you'd never forget. Ethan, 
I can understand you're not wanting to use Crane money, but why not let me help you? I mean, I've known you all your life. You're like family to me. And it would give me such pleasure to be a part of your beautiful wedding. Gwen, Rebecca, we appreciate it, but I think Teresa and I would rather have a rather small affair. Just immediate family and friends. I think we should respect Ethan and Teresa's wishes in this matter. Well, yes, yes, of course. I just... I just hope we're considered friends enough to be invited. Of course. Ethan, it's really going to happen, isn't it? We're really getting married. Yes, we are. And we're going to get married as soon as possible. The look on Teresa's face is priceless. I cannot wait to drop the bomb that Teresa has known all along that Ethan is a Bennett and has never told anyone. Won't Ivy be surprised to find out that her little Teresa is the one that betrayed her? Oh, I am definitely anxious for that day. I'm just about as anxious for this wedding as Teresa. What a wedding it is going to be.